Hey everyone, I hope you're all well. Uh, you join me two days before Christmas Day and I'm about to head out for a ride. The weather looks changeable, probably going to hit a little bit of rain but you know, we'll deal with that when we're out. But it's good to get out, particularly in the week when usually I would be at work. So today's ride is going to consist something around an hour and a half to two hours. Just heading up to one of the local parks, I'm going to do some laps of that. Now, I've titled today's video something around training through Christmas and you know it's appropriate considering this is the time of year when we seem to eat a lot, drink a lot and if you're like me, you're battling tier four southeast restrictions which basically means no swimming again. Just finishing the ride, it's absolutely bucking it down. Ugh. Anyway, when we get home, we'll talk training. Just time now, and well, I'm gonna put the brake away, but it's an absolute state. Have a look at this. Pretty, pretty minging and it started raining again a lovely weather I guess it's time to clean this thing and in winter I don't usually clean it thoroughly purely because it just gets filthy again so quickly so I'll give it a quick hose down a little scrub particularly around the brakes clean it up before it goes away to the next ride About it, I think. Let's dry it down, oil the chain. Pretty much it. So let's talk training. And as this is a triathlon channel, it's pretty relevant, I think. But what I thought we'd do is focus on the training at this time of the year, that during this festive season. So what do I mean by that? Well, quite simply, how do I go about it? Uh, what does it look like for me at this time of the year? and what's important and what am I focusing on. So let's start with the run. I'm going to do everything a little bit backwards here, but uh, I'm going to start with the 5K training and that little goal of breaking my 5K PB. And if you don't know what I'm, I'm on about and you're new here, then check out the link, link, link somewhere above and get up to speed with that. So I'm still working and training on that goal. And we're probably about eight weeks in now. I am due another 5K time trial test, which I should have done this week. Uh, in fact, I should have done it on Monday, and I did have a friend who was going to help me out with that and and, and pace me on on, his, on the bike. But obviously, since we've gone into tier four and all these other restrictions, we thought it's probably best we didn't do that. So I'm going to probably hold off until after Christmas now and probably do that one myself. So this week, I have had a few doubts around whether I'm going to actually achieve this goal. And in general, I'm pretty happy with my running and my form. And I'm currently running 25 to 30 miles a week. That is going to be upped again over the next few weeks. Um, I've been doing all the speed interval workouts, the tempo efforts and everything. Everything has been going to plan really well. Um, and my speed intervals at the moment are around 4.15 pace. Now, I've got to be honest... I'm hanging on in those. So yesterday I did um, some some 1K repeat efforts, and yeah, by the full fifth one I was hanging on, but I'm managing them just. Um, so I, I know that my training and the plan that I've set 
the set myself is working because I am getting quicker but what I probably really need to do is do take on a 5k race because under those race conditions you do run that bit quicker so that would probably give me a true reflection of where I currently am and what my 5k time 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 is but I'm not going to know that unless I race and the only thing I can do in the meantime is to keep time trialing which I'm going to do and hopefully I'll get that next week and get that filmed as well. So then we come to biking and riding is riding at the moment. I'm just riding when I want, there isn't much structure. Riding consists of around three to four rides a week. Most of that is on the turbo trainer. Uh, regular view viewers, you will know that I moved recently over to Ruby, which I'm still enjoying. You know, you get to ride so many different um, courses and things, which I like. Um, but for me, and I have tried the workouts on it, they're okay, but for me, the best structured program is uh, Trainer Road, and I've used that in the past, and I'm considering renewing my subscription because January for me will be the time when I start adding in that structure and the program and, and thinking about when and what type of workouts that I need to be doing to get ready for the spring and summer time, summer term, summer term, I feel like I'm at school, summer time and that race season coming up. I think the difficulty with non-structured work, sometimes it's harder because you kind of get on the bike and you haven't really got a plan and you're just riding, you kind of don't know when and how long you're riding for. So sometimes I might jump on it and I think half an hour in, I've had enough, or 45, sometimes I'll be on it for 45 minutes or an hour. So yeah, sometimes the unstructured stuff is harder and I think when you know what type of workouts you're doing and when you're doing them, at least you can sort of plan ahead and sort of physically and mentally get prepared for those types of uh, workouts. And one thing that I must do this year in the new year is get a bike fit. I've been saying that over the last two seasons and I've not managed to do it. I think I would have done it last season if, if we would have had some racing, but... Anyway, that, that is definitely on my list. I've got to get that done because I think that will have a big uh, impact into me and my position and um, feeling a little bit com more comfortable on, on the bike. So that's definitely on the list to do for next year. So one thing that has dropped off for me over the last two weeks is my strength and conditioning work. And now that I'm actually on holiday, I'm looking to pick that up again. It's been busy the last couple of weeks at work, which, you know, when something usually gives on my training or, or my preparation, it's usually the strength training aspects. Uh, but I'm certainly looking to pick that up because I had been training really consistently and building up my strength and feeling really strong and good in myself. So I don't want to lose that and I want to keep that going, particularly into January and February. Um, and then I will, it will taper it off a little bit. Uh, when the, the volume kicks up in the bike and the swim uh, uh, and the run again. thing I want to talk about is my diet and my eating habits now I accept that over Christmas you know we probably eat too much I, well I certainly do I eat too much and I, I drink a little bit too much probably like most people you know we are human and I think you've got to accept that well I accept that uh, I don't go overboard as you know that's not to say I go absolutely mad I don't um, everything is moderated I would say but it's not as moderated as what I would do uh, pre-Christmas and you know when I return to work in January so for me uh, the most important thing is that come uh, January when I return to work I go back to those previous eating and drinking habits you know no alcohol I don't drink alcohol during the week if I do drink it will be a little bit at the weekend and I don't eat any rubbish um, crisps, biscuits, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, all those processed bits and pieces I, st I stay clean from. So that's the way that I approach my eating over Christmas. Uh, yes, except I'll eat a little bit more, probably eat a little bit unhealthier, but 
you know, it's a festive time, so enjoy it. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Ah. So just back from a tempo run, and I've got to say, I think that was a breakthrough workout. Really pleased with that. So it was an hour's run with three intervals. So there was two times 15 minutes and one times 10 minutes. And you know what, I think that's breakthrough because I'm aiming for about a 4.40, 4.45 pace and just looking at those splits I held, 4.44, 4.42, 4.44 for each of them. Really pleased with that. Um, and I've extended it today because I've been usually doing about 30 minutes worth of tempo and today did 40 and you know what, it felt really comfortable. Really comfortable, could hold those efforts pretty damn well which tells me breakthrough. So now I need to time trial, I need to do that anyway. Anyway, to, I'm going to leave the video there guys. Uh, I'll be back in a couple of days with another one because I do have a little one announcement, some good news which I'm really pleased about. So, hope you've enjoyed this week's video. If you're not a subscriber here, hit that subscription button because uh, I do really appreciate it. And I will see you in a few days. And Merry Christmas to you all.